So for my tackle box essentials, would have to start with the actual tackle box itself. Now you might see that this is an extremely large box and there's a reason for that. Everything that I need is in this box. Whether I need to go abroad, it's all in here. Whether I need to go stalking or whether, you know, I'm out on a 48 hour session, whatever fishing session I go on, it's in this box. So it's the Fox Large Deluxe Double. And double, as in one side, I've got all my hook links so I've pretty much got every hook link I could possibly need for any fishing situation is in the top of this box here shut the box up close it turn it over and then I've got all my essential tackle items within this box everything's neat and tidy everything's to hand I can see absolutely everything that I've got within the box and it's a definite must for any of my fishing. So my next tackle box essential item would have to be the hook boxes. I tend to carry an array of hooks within my tackle box. So instead of my hooks all fumbling around within the packets, what I tend to do is obviously put them into the hook boxes. And then once they're in there, every single hook is completely secure within the box and it's never gonna move or get damaged. So the hook boxes, they actually come with a white label, so they come with a white sticker, so you can write on there exactly what hook you've got within the box. But what I've done, just to make it a little bit more neater, is I've actually cut the description from the packet of the hooks and the size and stuck them onto each hook box so it looks a little bit more tidier within your tackle box. So leading on from the descriptions of the hook boxes, my next essential item would be the actual cards that come in your packets themselves. I.e. when you buy a packet of swivels, you get a little card in there of the description of what you've actually bought. So what I like to do within these little storage boxes is cut the card out and then fold it over and then it has the size on it of your item that you've got within the box and then it obviously has the little picture above as well. So when I open it up, I can see exactly what size swivels I've got for each compartment and all of these storage boxes, they come with the actual tackle box themselves. So for my next essential item, I've mentioned hook boxes and you can't go anywhere obviously without any hooks. And my next essential item would have to be the medium curves. I use the medium curves for my 360 rig, which is what I pretty much use for a majority of my angling. Whether that's bottom bait fishing, wafters or pop-ups, I'll always use the 360. And the medium curve is the perfect pattern for that rig. So that is an essential item that I can definitely not go without. So I've mentioned my hooks for an essential item and my next essential item would have to be the hook link. And the hook link of choice that I definitely couldn't go without is the Illusion in 20 pound. I use this again for a majority of my fishing. Even for a lot of the silt fishing that I do, I still use the Illusion. Even though it's a fairly stiff fluorocarbon, I've seen photos from the underwater stuff that we've done, and this stuff sits pretty on any silt bed, gravel bed. The only time I probably wouldn't use it is over low lying weed. So that's my five tackle box essential items. And be sure to mention what all of your items are in the comments below.